Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my June favorites, so if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. Another month has gone by. I feel like I looked up and the year was halfway over. And I have quite a few random favorites this month. Every single thing will be linked down below in the description box if you are interested in it. I always like to start off these videos sharing my current SB favorite. That is my brand. If you're not familiar, I will link it down below. I do give 10% off for my YouTube subscribers. It's just YT fam if you are interested, but these pieces will be linked below as well. This necklace has been on repeat for me. I think that is so pretty. Just the little opal in the middle, but the detailing of it is gorgeous. I also like that it has the two inch extender, which I am not using currently. So I could make this longer if I wanted or obviously wear it shorter like I am today. I just love it because it's not a huge statement piece, but it's also, you can see it still. It's shiny and the opal is just absolutely stunning. And then this is my current bracelet stack. I swapped out my other Theo bracelet for the Emma, which is just the gold beads. And then I have the Layla and then the three millimeter Emma and the Elena. Absolutely love this. I like just having that little pop of color. All of these are gold filled, so you can shower in them, get them wet, live life. You don't have to worry about taking them off and treating them really, really gently. Anyway, all of those pieces will be linked below along with the website. I recently did a laser treatment again on my skin, which if you've been following along, I've done quite a few treatments trying to fix my skin. And I'm at a point right now that I'm trying to be so diligent with my sunscreen and just sun coverage in general. So one of my favorites is this sunscreen. It's the Wonder Screen from Dime. I've got to tell you, I had pretty low hopes for this. I've just seen so many people talk about it. And I feel like when products are overhyped, they usually don't perform the way that I want them to. But I've got to say, this is actually really, really good. It has 19% zinc in it, which is really, really high. And it goes on white, but then when you rub it in, it does turn clear. And under makeup, you can't tell at all. I will say if you don't put anything on over this, you can see like a slight almost like iridescent tint, but truly if I wasn't gonna wear makeup anyway, I wouldn't care because I would be protected. But under makeup, you can't tell at all. Like makeup just goes right over it. I'm just pleasantly surprised by this. I wasn't expecting it to like it as much as I do. And then speaking of sun coverage, not only am I putting sunscreen on, but I also am just trying not to let my face get any sun whatsoever. And I got a new hat. I have a couple of hats. I was just kind of over them. And I feel like if I'm going to be wearing like this large sun hat, I at least wanted to feel decently cute. So I got this one. I tried out a couple. I got one from Target. It was horrible. Uh, but this one I actually really like. This is what it looks like. It does come in a few different colors for the band. This is the size small. Um, I think it comes in like extra small to extra large. It's just really, really high quality. I know that I'm going to have this for years. It's classic and I like that it's neutral so I can wear it with anything. I'm just so happy to have something that I feel cute in when I'm trying to protect my face from the sun. I usually just put a little messy bun on the bottom and then throw my hat on, my sunglasses, my sunscreen, like do not show the sun to my face. I've had a loopy case on my phone for years and years and years now. Anytime I get a new phone, I get a new case. And I noticed that my last case, actually, I think every case I've ever had has the clear bumper and over time it just discolors. And I noticed that mine was discolored maybe, I don't know, right when Theo started putting things in his mouth and it grossed me out because it looked dirty and he kept grabbing for my phone and putting it in his mouth, which is just disgusting anyway. But I decided to get a new case. I got the clear case and then I noticed just maybe a month and a half or so ago that uh, the side of it was kind of peeling. And so I emailed them because I've never had an issue with any of my cases before. And so I emailed them saying like, I purchased this in, I think it was in February and I messaged them, I want to say in 
June. They said that it was under warranty still and they would send out a new case and they asked me if I wanted to switch designs. And so I decided to switch for one that has a color on the side so that it doesn't turn that ugly, nasty, discolored color. If you switch out your phone case more often, then I'm sure that doesn't happen to yours, but I just keep mine on for, for years, so it does happen. Anyway, they let me switch, and so I ended up getting the blush, and I love this. I have the little finger thing from my clear case still. I swapped it out, but it does come with a blush little loop. But this is the clear, or this is the blush, and then the sides have this pink, so when you look at it, it has the pink around here. Anyway, I I guess I never even looked at any of them. Just all of the ones that I liked that I had ordered in the past had the clear on the side. I didn't know that a color on the side was an option. And now that I know that it is, I am only going to order colors that have the color on the side, not the clear. So if that happens to you, that's a little tip. But these cases are just the best if you haven't ever heard me talk about them. This helps me hold everything so I can just loop it through my hand and still hold on to Theo or have whatever. Um, and I will put two fingers, one finger, you can tighten this, you can get it so that it's on your left hand instead. I kind of switch which hands I use it on and I can hold it just fine with my left hand as well. This is just a must for my phone. I would drop my phone 100 times a day if it weren't for this. I actually do have a 10% off code with them. I don't get anything from it. It's not like an affiliate code or anything. It's just a discount code that I actually use when I purchase stuff too. It's SBRIT10. So I will write it on the screen. S-B-R-I-T-10. These sunglasses I am obsessed with. Okay, they're very dirty. Hopefully you can't see how dirty they are on the screen. But I like that they're nice and oversized, but they do have the metal on the side. And because they have the plastic in between, you can put them in your hair and then pull them out and not pull all of your hairs out of your head. I really like this gold detail on the side and they're just a really fun classic. I like that they kind of have a little bit of a dish, different shape to them. They're not squared off, but they're not rounded off. They're just, they're just a little bit different than any of the sunglasses that I have and I have been wearing them every single day. Once summer comes, I feel like I always like to have a little bit of a pinkier, peachier blush than what I wear the rest of the year. And I switched back to my ambient lighting blush in Dim Infusion. It's this beautiful, beautiful color. It's what I have on my cheeks today. And it's just a little bit different than my other color that I've been wearing for basically the rest of the year. I just like something a little brighter and more summery when we get to this point of the year. If you can't tell, I have color on my nails for the first time in months and months and months. I didn't even own a colorful gel polish. I'm at that point of the year that I'm like, give me the color and then we're going to go back to fall and I will be back to all neutrals. Theo has a book from his Love Every Box that is teeny tiny and it's like animals I see or something and it is just like the smallest little board book and I think he loves it because he can really hold on to it and so I wanted to get him a couple of other small books because we literally read that one there's not even words. It just shows animals and then I make animal sounds and like act silly with him. Anyway, he doesn't get sick of that book, but at some point I would like to read some other books. And so I decided to get him another set of small board books. And this is actually from Pantone, which is pretty cool. He's actually at my parents' house today. And so I don't have the green book because I sent it with him, but this is what they look like. They're these teeny tiny books and each book has a bunch of little cutouts of purple things and each cutout is double-sided. So he likes it because we can like stick our fingers in there and he likes to pull the pages and he can turn them by himself without me. Normally I'll just put my finger up so that it's up a little bit and then he can turn it, but with this he can just turn it by himself. So he loves this and all of the colors are like monster purple, lilac purple, lollipop purple, all of the little Pantones with the shades and this would be a great gift if the parent is a designer of some sort. I just love Pantone and colors. I always have followed like the Pantone color of the year and all of that. So when I saw that these were Pantone books, I was really excited about them. They're small. These are a little bit bigger than the book that he has from Love Every, but he really loves the cutouts of it. We'll go through these and talk about whatever the things are on each of the pages. But yeah, he, he really likes these and I'm glad to have other books 
besides the one small book that we read all the time. I decided to try out a new eyeliner. This is from Hourglass. This is actually a newer product, I believe. It is the waterproof gel eyeliner, and this is in the shade Chestnut. I decided to get this instead of the black because I just, sometimes I like how the brown looks when you just smudge it out a little bit and it's just like really, really natural. So this is the color. It's a really nice deep brown shade. I like this because you can just twist the bottom. That's how this twists up. It's not a super sharp point, which if you like that, you probably wouldn't like this, but I personally just put this on and then I smudge it out with a brush. So that doesn't matter to me as much, but this actually stays on and doesn't transfer onto my upper lids. It's super easy to use. It glides on nicely. So I'm not like pulling at my eyelids and yeah, it's just smooth. It's beautiful. The shade is gorgeous and the color payoff is there and it's nice and creamy. So I am really, really impressed with this. I do want to share the t-shirt that I'm wearing today and then also the shorts that I'm wearing because I love them both and I have felt so uncomfortable in my skin since being postpartum and I finally went out and bought some new clothes and both of these pieces are on sale right now. The t-shirt I bought in the like purpley pink color and then also in the white. I just love them so much and I think the fit is so comfortable. I feel good in them. I feel cute in them all around good things so I need to share them with you. This t-shirt I bought in the purpley pink and in the white and I mentioned on my insta stories that I bought it in a medium and then I ended up ordering online because everything was 50% off and so I got this in a small. So this is the small. I also have the medium. I kind of feel like they're just interchangeable. They both fit really well. So I just have it tucked in right now. Let me show you the shorts and then I will untuck tuck it and show you. But these shorts are really nice. I love that they are not tight against my legs. Tight shorts against my legs is like the worst thing ever. And then this is what they look like. I just absolutely love these. I feel comfortable in them. They're stretchy. And then they are high-waisted, so they come right up to my belly button. And this is what the shirt looks like out. It's longer in the back, so you could totally wear leggings or something with it. But I love the baby doll detailing of it. I like that the sleeves are stitched up like that. It's just such an easy top to throw on and go. I like both of these. I'd say the shorts are true to size. The top is oversized. It's supposed to be oversized. So you could either go with your true size and have that true oversized look or... I just said true so many times, or size down, and it's probably still gonna be a little bit oversized, but that is the style of it. And I love how it looks out, but I also love how it looks tucked. That was a terrible tuck, but you get the idea. I will link both of these, and they are both on major sale right now. I actually mentioned these in my Amazon favorites video that I posted last. I can link that up in the cards if you missed it. But these are little magnetic cable ties. So my mom bought a set of these, and then she gave me half of them, and I looked at them and I was like, I, that's dumb. I'm not going to use it. What are these even for? She told me that you wrap them around cords in your house. She gave me, I think, about nine of them. And I was like, there's no way that I have nine things that I would need to wrap these cords around. Well, I've used every single one and now I'm tempted to buy an actual pack of my own because you don't realize how many loose cords you have just around your house all the time. Right now I have my ring light and then I have lights on the sides and on each of these side lights I have two in those so that's already four. You just take a cord or whatever it is that you're trying to hold together and these are stretchy. Wrap it around and then it is magnetic so it holds everything in place. They're so easy to use and it's like such a silly, no-brainer little Amazon find, but truly I feel like the cords in my house have become so much less messy because of these. You can just fold these up however works and then wrap this around it and you're good to go. Alrighty guys, that is everything for my June favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.